Now, if you have a really large music collection, um, a really great way to, to take care of it is to make copies of your music. Um, so you have the original stay at home and they're safe, and to put them in a travel folder. Now I would use something that's actually color coded in different colors, just in case you have um, a pretty extensive CD collection or you know your um, your selection expands as you go on. So if you have a red one and a black one, it's much easier to tell them apart than if they're all the same color. And you can even subdivide them up by genres, like maybe 70s and 80s music could go in here, and you know 90s and beyond could go in here, or something like that. You'll have to divide that up according to what you have the most CDs of. The reason I like to do that is in case you get into a car accident or you, lend, you want to lend a CD out, you don't have to worry about losing your original copy if you have um, only copies in here and all the originals at home. Now, when it comes to storing software CDs, which is always a problem and everything, what I normally do is advise my clients to take them out of the cases that they came in, to put them in a folder um, kind of like this one, um, and you know, maybe just keep the security keys right behind there. And I put some of them in the red folder over here. See? So you'd just be able to pull out the CD on top and you have your security key right underneath there. That way you're not struggling with tons and tons of discs and covers and cases and, and you know, you're losing your security key. Now, I'd also actually um, write the security key right on top of my disc just in case I lose a piece of paper in the back and that can really save you a lot of trouble.